Finding pretty bales for circular pendants can be a real challenge, but today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful and creative bale for a gorgeous circular pendant. It's who I am, a little bear, so and some Hi, I'm Tamara Berg, and today we're going to make a beautiful beaded bale necklace. So let's just get started. We're going to start with the hand dyed silk ribbon that's going to be the necklace portion of this piece. This ribbon comes from a kit from artbeads.com. And the first thing that we need to do is just finish the edges of this to make it a little bit easier in a step that's going to come later. We'll take some of our diamond glaze from Judykins, which is the dimensional adhesive, and take that and apply it to the ends of our ribbon. Just about half an inch to three eighths of an inch of this ribbon gets dipped into the diamond glaze and then just roll it around in your fingers a little bit and it'll make it much easier to thread these ends when we finish our project. Next we're going to take our seed beads and mix them together. We've got some seed beads that are glass and then we also have some beautiful sterling silver two millimeter beads and that's going to add some sparkle to this project. So we mix them together make sure they're nicely incorporated. Next, we're gonna take our wire, and there's about two feet of wire in this kit from Art Beads, and we're gonna take this little gizmo. This is called a bead stopper, and this is a fantastic tool to use. It's a stainless steel coil that clips right on the end of your wire like this, and it keeps everything in place. So if you wanna change your design, it's not a big deal to take it off the end, and if you have a cat like I do who thinks everything in the house is a toy, this is a great thing to have. Next, we're gonna add the crimp bead. So just feed that onto the wire, bring it all the way down to the bead stopper. Next comes the pendant. And this is a mother of pearl pendant that's been laser etched. And the color inside this laser etching is a wax-based paint. And I mention that just because it's very durable, it's not gonna flake off. So you don't have to think of this as being a very, very delicate necklace. So add on our pendant, bring that all the way down again to the bead stopper. Next, we're gonna thread on our seed beads. There are a couple of different techniques you can use for threading on the seed beads. So I'm gonna show them to you and you can choose whichever one works best for you. So the first process you can try is what I call digging for gold. And basically it's just taking your wire and running it through the pile of beads and seeing what ends up on your wire. Sometimes a lot of them come on, sometimes they don't. It just sort of depends on, I don't know, the humidity, maybe the alignment of the planets. Just dig those through, that's one way to put the beads on. The second way is what I call the pinch technique. And basically working over your bowl, that's a very important element here, just grab a pinch of those beads into your fingers and feed them onto the wire. And if you drop any, they're gonna fall right back into your bowl. Then the next technique I like to use because it just works best for me, is the moisten the finger technique. That's the technical term. So just moisten your finger, take it and just press it right into those beads. And again, work over your bowl and then just run that wire right into the beads. And another thing to remember, if you don't have the sponge nearby, there are less hygienic but readily available ways to moisten your finger. <laughs> so. Get them right on there. And do make sure that you get the sterling silver beads mixed in with the other color beads. So once we've fed all the beads on, we'll end up with about an 18 inch length of beads on the wire. And now we're gonna create our bale. So take the pendant and get your hand dyed silk ribbon from the kit and place the center of that ribbon right onto the top of our mother of pearl pendant. Next, take the unfinished end of the wire and we're just gonna sort of stitch it onto the pendant. So run the beads around to the back, making sure your ribbon's underneath there, through to the front, just like you're stitching. You're gonna do this seven or eight times and this is gonna create the bale. And if anybody's wondering, the bale is just a technical term for the part of a necklace that connects the pendant to the actual portion of the necklace that goes around your neck. So we just continue doing these stitches, making sure you're getting the pendant and the ribbon in each of those stitches, pulling them around all the way through. I like the beads that artbeads.com put together for this bale, but if you wanted something that was more symmetrical or more uniform, you could use one color of beads or a single shape of beads, and that would give you something that's a little bit more symmetrical. I like this one because it's really lively and energetic. 
So when you finish up feeding all those beads through, it'll end up looking like this. Flip it over very carefully because you do not want beads all over the floor. Remove that bead stopper and set that aside. And then just take the unfinished end, the end that wasn't in the bead stopper, and feed that right through the crimp bead and just pull that tight. Make sure it's nice and tight and you don't have to worry about the placement of the other links Right now, we'll take care of that in a minute. So just pull that nice and tight. Then we're just gonna take our crimping tool. If you don't have a crimping tool, you can use chain nose pliers and just crimp down on that crimp bead, nice and tight. Next, we just trim off those little edges of the wire and we have a completed bail. Doesn't that look pretty? Now we're just going to finish off the ends of this necklace, and this is where we come back to the diamond glazed finished ends on the ribbon. We take our sterling silver beads that come with the kit from Art Beads, feed those right through that nice finished edge, and just tie an overhand knot. Really simple. But the nice thing about these beads is that they have a little bit of heft to them, so they help keep the necklace knot in the back when you're wearing it. And because this is a silk ribbon, you can tie it any length you want to. Also, another great thing about the silk ribbon is that it is washable. So for any reason you need to wash it, you maybe get a little perfume on the ribbon, not a big deal to wash it. Put the other one on here. And if you need to, you can trim the little ends off of that ribbon. And there's our finished beaded veil necklace. Another thing I love about this necklace is that you don't have to wear it just as a necklace. Watch this. We're taking those beads from the back, the sterling silver mat beads, feeding them through the center of our mother of pearl pendant. Slip your arm through. And this is where it helps to have a friend nearby. But since I don't have any friends, I'm gonna do this myself. Feed it through, tie a little knot, and we have a fantastic bracelet. Doesn't that look pretty? Now another variation of what you can do with this kit, I took the ribbon from the kit and just ran it through the mother of pearl pendant and through the loop there. And then instead of creating a beaded bail, I made three inches of beads on three different lengths of the wire, crimped those wires in the same direction so they created a little teardrop right on the bottom of that pendant and now we have dangles at the bottom of our beaded necklace. So whether you follow the kit's instructions or come up with something on your own, you're sure to make something beautiful. We'll see you next time. To create this project yourself, download this week's design guide. You'll get step-by-step -step instructions along with special make-it-your-own bonus tips and ideas.